Hello, Sonia Curtis here with S. Curtis Properties in Los Angeles, California. I wanted to talk to you guys today about getting your home ready for sale. Um, if we're meeting for a listing appointment and we're gonna put your house on the market, here are a couple of tips for you. One, go through your home and pack up in boxes as many of your personal um, photographs, trinkets, tchotchkes, whatever's, whatever you've got around the house that is accumulated over time that may be emotionally important to you and have memories for you, but when you're, too much of your personal belongings and your own personal style is in your home when you're ready to sell it, it will make it harder for the prospective buyer to imagine it being their home, right? It has no, it's no judgment on your, your style or your taste. We're just looking at, from a marketing perspective, we want the buyer to walk into the house and go, ooh, I can picture my hutch there, and ooh, I can picture my curtains there, and whatever. You know, they want to picture their belongings in your home. If there's, if it's too full of your furniture and your personal knickknacks, they won't even be able to picture it as theirs. So that's a huge uh, point. The other one is uh, take in mind the smells in your house. If you have a cat or a dog, or you have the trash sitting for too long, and there's fishy food out, or something you just cooked last night, or you left something out that stink make sure you open up the windows the doors air it out get rid of the trash get rid of the fishy food and put in the garage or do whatever you can to make the house smell better um, light a candle <laughs> so anyways those are a couple of um, important points that I wanted to discuss with you uh, in getting your home ready for sale thank you bye